Fifteen times I have told the clowns the exact round they were going down. I just left London, England. I fought a bum named Henry Cooper, the heavyweight champion of the British Empire. I said, Henry, this is no jive. The fight will end in five. <laughs> and it did. It did. What do you have in the way of a little, uh, little Burma shave quatrain for uh, your forthcoming opponent? Oh, you mean the big ugly bear. <laughs> That fella's too ugly to be the world's heavyweight champ. <laughs> I'm not lying. He's too ugly. <laughs> the world heavyweight champion should be pretty like me. <laughs> I'm as pretty as you and you're not a fighter. <laughs> oh, you got me beat. There's no problem there. The round is round eight. If, th if that's what you're talking about, I have predicted round eight to prove that I'm great. All right. If he makes me sore, I'll get him like more. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty wild. Okay, now we're going to uh, turn the uh, floor open here for questions. Oh, Cassius. I didn't know you asked questions. Yeah, it's okay. They can use all right for them to yeah, put questions yeah, to you. Uh -huh. I know you can have them. Uh, young man there with a the red sweater. How about reciting one of your poems, Cassius? If you like to lose your money, be a fool and bet on Sunday. <laughs> I'd like to know if you agree with the fact that a professional wrestler could beat a professional boxer in a fight. In a oh, free-for-all, you mean? a free-for-all fight. Well, if the fighter gets the first lick, he'll win. <laughs> well, it's according to who the fight is, you know. Uh, everybody uh, uh, lose, except me, but uh, I, I don't believe <laughs> I don't believe I don't believe that no wrestler could beat me. Not even I challenged Gorgeous George once to match, and he ran out. You mean you think you could beat a professional wrestler? Yeah, fight? eat him up. <laughs> you know you'll eat him up, though. I as know guys, it. As Cassie yeah. says, it depends on who the fighter is and who the wrestler is. That's and, right. Now, if it's me, well, you can bet on me, but I don't know the rest of I think a wrestler, a wrestler could beat could almost always beat a boxer. The average boxer. Because what's yeah. he got to worry about? But uh, against a very strong puncher, a wrestler might have trouble. Uh, yes? Uh, who do you think the world's best fighter was, besides yourself? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, but the world's greatest to me. I mean, my idol was Sugar Ray Robinson. I would pick him if you asked me the world's greatest yeah. fighter. Was a fighter born or created? Well, I would say a great, great, great fighter would, uh, would, I would say, would have to be born. I mean, uh, me myself, I've never received top-notch training. I've never been to a training camp, and uh, I can't find nothing around to last over eight rounds with me. <laughs> so, I mean, I was really born to box a fighter. Mm -hmm. I think that's true of the leading people in any field. All right, this lady right there. Question. How can you always be so sure you're going to win when you say you do, in the round that you say you do? Well, then if I... Uh, if I told you how I knew, then uh, you would be the greatest, too. <laughs> as far as fighting is concerned, but uh, it's mostly scientific. I study my opponents and weigh them, check the past history, and check this height. For an example, I fought a fellow named Charlie Powell in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a year ago. A few of you may have read about it. I predicted round six, mm -hmm. but after I met him in person, I realized that I could cut it in half and do it in three. So the day of the fight, I cut the prediction from six to three, and that night before a sellout crowd of 22,000, he fell in three. Hmm. So uh, I fought a fellow named Doug Jones about, and a lot of you sports fans heard about that. People say I missed my prediction because the fight went 10 rounds, but they're wrong. First I said Jones in six, then I said Jones in four. <laughs> six and four is what? 10. <laughs> Right you are, young lady there with a white coat. You look so young. I was wondering how long you've been fighting. Well, I've been fighting 12 years. Gee. I've had 190 some, let me see, I've had, no, I had about two, 260 amateur fights. Two-time national, I should sure how great I am. Two-time <laughs> two, two national Golden Glove champion, two-time national AAU champion, international diamond belt champion, Pan American game champion, and 1960 World Olympic gold medal winner in Rome. It's a heck of a record. Mm -hmm. All of those fights. If you want to watch an awesome video of a young Michael Jordan, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Professional love is very hard work, and uh, 
I think I'm dedicated enough to work hard and, and try to be the best basketball player I can. And you know, it was good to get, get comments from everyone.